Hello, internets. Um, it's Coco again. Okay, so I made this video before, but I feel like I've gotten so many emails and inboxes about it that I need to simplify things a little bit more. So, and especially with this new channel, we're just gonna make a new video anyway. There are two different things here. One is called IMEI blocking, and one is phone unlocking. When you have an unlocked phone, Basically, the phone will take a SIM card. You can pop a SIM card in from any, you know, any GSM carrier. So whether you're traveling internationally or in the States, if you're using AT&T or T-Mobile, you can just pop that SIM card in, which is your phone number, and use that phone. There's something else now called IMEI blocking. So IMEI blocking, every phone has its own unique address. So there is an address on this particular phone that is unique to this phone that no other phone has. It's, it's, that, it's almost like a fingerprint, let's say, but then it's not, you know, it's like almost but not, but you get me. As phones have gotten more and more expensive, there have been measures put in place now to deter people from theft of others and also just basically getting over on the network. So for instance, my cellular phone, let's say I lose it somewhere, right? If I lose the phone and I contact my carrier and tell them that the phone is lost, they will have the IMEI blocked. That means that that phone can no longer be used on my carrier for certain. And now this registry is nationwide, so it can't be used on AT&T either. It's basically just a brick. This is not so much of a problem if you have a Note 2 like I do. I guess you could probably just use it as a tablet and you probably can make do. But if you have like an iPhone 4 or 5 and someone bricks your phone, I mean, you're going to be salty because there's nothing you can do with that. No one's going to carry around something so small just to use it for like Wi-Fi. That's ridiculous. If you purchase a phone from someone, a third party, make sure that you know if the IMEI is blocked and know that there's a difference between an unblocked IMEI, a blocked IMEI, an unlocked phone and a locked phone. Unlocked and locked phones, that's not a big deal. You know, you can get a phone unlocked. You know, you can pay somebody to do it. You can do it yourself. Whatever the case may be, it can be done. As far as uh, blocked IMEI, the only way that an IMEI can be unblocked is the original owner of that phone has to contact the network and tell them that that phone has been found. But if that person has made an insurance claim on that phone because they lost it and gave it to their homie, then they're going to block themselves from equipment protection. So it's like... You know, you just gotta, in this case, there's no winning anymore. There's no more of this, let me use your insurance claim to, they're gonna block the phones anyway now, so you're gonna have no phone at all. While if you walk into a carrier, they're not gonna confiscate the phone and, you know, arrest you or anything like that. You're basically in possession of stolen property. So, you know, take that how you want to and, you know, I don't know you and I don't judge you, but I'm just saying, if somebody gave me a stolen phone and, uh, I'd be salty. I really, really hope that you didn't find this video because somebody screwed you over. And if you did, I'm really, really sorry. That's horrible. I feel bad about it. But you learn something new every day. And, you know, that was a phone. It could have been something even more. So look at the bright side.